everyone, I'm Kamen Enchev. By now you know the Red Wolves lost the New Orleans Bowl and as we expected, A-State confirmed in a post-game presser that Walt Bell will leave to be the offensive coordinator at Maryland, but here's some highlights of the late game. There's Walt Bell with Tress Houston, the senior, so both of their last games as Red Wolves. A-State had issues shutting down Jeff Driscoll. He is Driscoll to a wide open Trent Taylor for the touchdown. 17-3 Lottek at that point. Driscoll had 458 pass yards. Then senior J.D. McKissick to senior Freddie Knighton on the wide receiver pass. Two of the all-time greats at Arkansas State as Freddie picks up a big gain there that would set up an A-State touchdown. Then about 20 seconds left in the first half. And this is symbolic of Freddie's career, making something out of nothing as he dives in the end zone for the touchdown. We're tied at 17 at the half. It was all Bulldogs after the break, though. Kenneth Dixon with one of his four touchdowns. He sets the FPS record with 87 career touchdowns. Then A-State trying to come right back, but Freddie's picked off. He threw two interceptions. The Red Wolves defense, which led the nation with 34 turnovers, failed to force one. But A-State was still down only 16 with about 10 minutes to go. But then Boston Scott breaks a long run right here. That puts the game out of reach. LaTeX wins 47-28. The Red Wolves finish 9-4. And Blake Gwynn covered the game and was at the postgame presser. Here's his recap. 47 to 28 is our final score here in the 2015 New Orleans Bowl as Louisiana Tech comes out on top with the victory here tonight. The Red Wolves struggling to stop the forces that are running back Kenneth Dixon and quarterback Jeff Driscoll. Defensively, a little bit out of, out of character for us that, uh, that we, we gave up the, the big plays that we did. They're, they're a quality football team. It would see momentum was swinging back towards the Red Wolves way as they got a touchdown right before the half by Freddie Knighton that would even things up at 17. But the Bulldogs would come back out after the half and would get the momentum right back and would eventually pull away. The loss ends the careers of guys like Freddie Knighton and J.D. McKissick and Michael Gordon who finished their careers up on the sideline after receiving injuries during the game. Well, not the way we wanted to go out, but you know, proud of the way we fought. You know, even on the last drive, guys are still out there making plays. But, um, you know, sometimes you come out and it doesn't go your way. Just because you work hard doesn't mean you deserve to win. Arkansas State now enters a period of uncertainty. Who will be their quarterback for next season and much, much more. Head coach Blake Anderson says there's still plenty of positives to take away from the 2015 season. All in all, one, one game doesn't define you. The senior class has done a great job. Nine and four is um, in an undefeated season in the Sun Belt it is uh, still a great accomplishment, but it'll be motivation for the future that we uh, we got to keep working and got got more work to do. The Red Wolves fall just shy of a 10 win season, finishing things up at nine and four. They'll now enter an off season. We'll have to find a new offensive coordinator after the departure of Walt Bell came out today. When you got a good staff, guys that do a good job, you kind of always expect at any point you can lose one. Though uh, this one. This one is, you know, one that hurts a little bit, but uh, uh, yeah, I've got, I've got some plans in place. We're going to stick with what we do. We're going to stay. We're going to keep doing what we do offensively. In New Orleans, Blake Gwynn, Region 8 Sports. Certainly, the senior class; those guys did a lot of great things for Arkansas State. Walt Bell, great coordinator. Wish him all the best. Yeah, and I know a lot of fans are going to miss him, but like you said, we all wish him the best. Absolutely. Thanks, Common. Stick with us. We'll be back.